Dave Gardy here live just prior to the National League of Cities H1N1 Swine Flu Outbreak Webcast Town Meeting. And we're looking for solutions to help the cities and the schools cope with this per potential pan pandemic. And we think we found one here with electrostatic spraying systems. This is an electrostatic spraying system gun. And with me to discuss this is Mr. Bruce Whiting, who is the owner and president of electrostatic spraying systems. Bruce, thanks for joining us here. This is a phenomenal piece of equipment. You've brought some video along, and a little later yeah. on, we're going to have a PowerPoint slide presentation, exactly how this works. But just give us an overview. You're a busy guy. These are in demand <laughs> with this uh, whole swine flu thing. Give us an overview of the company and what this is. This, this uh, technology that was developed by the University of Georgia, they're our partners, and it was developed for agriculture. And then it moved into food safety, trying to figure out a way to coat an entire plant to, so that that plant was sprayed with a pesticide or a fungicide. Little did we know that now we have more demand and that the greater good will probably be the spraying disinfectants or sanitizers for H1N1 or MRSA or some of the things that are plaguing society today than for agriculture for which it was designed. That's, that's ironic because um, tell us how it works and what the big benefit to it is uh, over conventional sanitization methods. Well, a lot of times in today's world, first of all, if you want to spray green solutions, you need to be very careful that you don't spray too much because they usually cost a little bit more. So mm -hmm. a lot of people like to spray our sprayer when they were spraying green solutions or they're trying to spray something that you need to dry quickly. In our sprayer, we take a large droplet, make 900 droplets out of it, take air, push it towards the target, and then it'll coat the entire target since it's electrostatically charged, each of those little droplets. Then, since we've coated it evenly with a fine little droplet solution, It'll dry quickly so you can turn around and use the bus, the b building, the table it, 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 quickly. So you're really basically almost atomizing it to get to those we, 900 We are profits. atomizing it with air. That's interesting. And then there, the, it's electrostatically charged, and so it dries quickly because it goes on really quick. You had, uh, brought some video with you uh, of did. a recent, actually locally here in Washington, D.C., a Metro bus uh, application. Let's see if we can go to that tape uh, if we can. And uh, that particular video, uh, just give us an overview there it is in use there yep, at, that, on the Metro bus. That is right here in Washington, D.C. The Metro system here realized that they needed to spray their buses and their other facilities, but they wanted to go green. Mm -hmm. they, they wanted to set the stage of, hey, we are a green, we spray green chemicals, but in order to spray a green chemical, you want to have a really fine mist and you want to be efficient with it. So they're spraying there with ours, but also they wanted something that would go underneath the seats, around behind, places where people might have sneezed or touched that is difficult to spray and wipe off. So this, uh, this individual here, uh, a fine man that I met uh, while we were doing the training, is showing you how, how quickly you can disinfect a, disinfect a bus without doing the traditional spray and wipe. Interesting. And that, of course, again, here in Washington, D.C., we're looking at it again, and it was the subject of a local news story. I think all of the television stations here carried it and some of the newspapers because they were, the writers were so concerned about uh, were the buses and trains and safe in, in Metro DC? And obviously, school buses are an ap a a obvious application for this. Oh, uh, I have a fellow who recently bought one for a school bus, and he was able to spray the entire school bus and disinfect it in a fourth of the time the the old traditional spray and wipe. Okay, so now you brought another video with you too, and this, of course, is from the University of Georgia. Yes. And uh, tell us a little overview of what happened with them and their football team. Well, um, they. Uh, had a little problem in their <laughs> in their weight room with uh, some bacteria, okay. and so they they needed to disinfect all of their equipment, and they came to us and uh, got a sprayer. And in the video, you can see that they are literally disinfecting the pads, the helmets, the the shoes, the lockers, so that they can make sure that their team is safe from bacteria and virus. Whether you're talking about H1N1 virus or the MRSA, the new MRSA bacteria that is plaguing the nation. So they are very happy with it. In fact, the other, I think the other day they told me they even take it on the road with them to spray the visitor's locker room. <laughs> <laughs> that must make the visitors feel pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I could use one of these around my house, actually. Now, here they are in actually a bathroom. I would think right. in the school's applications, the bathrooms and the showers, this would be great. It, uh, one nice thing is it'll wrap around behind the toilet or places where it's very difficult to get your hand and even if you are trying to be conscientious and wipe. Uh, I see. And now here is uh, actual uh, 
Of the blocking dummies. Blocking right? dummies, right. Right. Uh, where the same thing. A lot of uh, bodily fluids there being right. passed. Right, in, in the hot summer, yeah. Uh -huh. They can spray the blocking dummy down. It'll dry within five or ten minutes. They go right back to using it without it being all wet. Excellent. Well, great. This is wonderful. Now, I guess we're going to have a uh, PowerPoint uh, from you in a moment here. Yes. But again, the name of the company is Electrostatic Spraying Systems. And I'm with Bruce Whiting, Whiting who is the uh, president and owner. Thank you, Bruce, for joining us. Come back here in a moment for a PowerPoint demonstration of exactly what this is for schools, cities, and other applications. We think we could use this set. Uh, Dave Gardy here for the uh, National League of Cities TV, H1N1 Swine Flu Outbreak Town Meeting.